Hi all, welcome back to my channel, it's Kristen. So today, today, I'm doing this look using the new Lunar Beauty Moon Spell palette. I, when I got this, okay, when I saw this, I was, I, I, I was like, I was giddy. I was like, oh my gosh, that is the most pretty thing I've ever seen. I want it, I want it, I want it. I was like a child in a toy store. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, oh my gosh, look at that. It's like a book. It's like a magic book. It's got the spine like a magic book. And then the actual book, it's the, the actual palette itself is actually really heavy. It comes out like a book and it's got the spine. It says the moon spells on it. And it comes out like a book. The packaging on this, the outer packaging of the actual palette with all the symbols on it and then this this fake clasp oh my gosh I, I was dying I was dying this is what the back looks like and then the inside oh and it also looks look at that. it looks like a book with the gold pages and, and like I said it's got some weight to it too and then I saw the inside and I was like I love purples I love me some purples not a big fan of greens and blues but I love me some purples, so I was very, very interested in this. <sighs> I was gonna resist. I was gonna resist. And then I heard the names on top of the packaging and on top of the, the colors. <sighs> Prue, Piper, Phoebe, and Paige are the first four, and I was like, I'm done. I'm sold. I'm there. I'm give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. That you you name anything after the Hollowell sisters, I'm there. <laughs> and then it just goes on from there. There's just they're famous fictional witches. There's Sabrina. There's Winifred, Sabrina the teenage witch, uh, Winifred, Sarah, and Mary, who are the Sanderson sisters from Hocus Pocus. Uh, Samantha, Samantha Stevens from Bewitched. Kiki from Kiki is Great Delivery or Kiki's Delivery Service, I think it is. Um, yeah. And then this is Hermione, Hermione Granger. Bonnie from the Vampire Diaries, uh, Marnie from Halloween Town, Nancy from The Craft, and Fiona from American Horror Story Coven. And I was just like, <clears throat> I have to have it. I have to have it. And then I got it, and I was like, these, these are gorgeous. These are even more gorgeous in real life. I will insert swatches at the end. I'm going to insert pictures of swatches at the end. But, oh, they're so pretty. They're so pretty. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> so I have done a look with every single color in this palette. I have played with, touched, and done a, a look with every single color in this palette. I originally filmed this video and it was like, it was going to be like an hour long. And I was like, that's just, that's not going to work. So I had to refilm it. Um, I, when I originally did the video, I did one eye using all of the green colors. And then one eye using the more neutral colors and so I'll insert those pictures they don't ha I don't have any eyeliner or mascara on in these pictures they just have the shadows on and then I did a full look using the purples which I'll also insert and then today I refilmed the look using the uh, more neutral colors because I wanted to do a tutorial but every tutorial that I've seen on this palette has been either purple or green so I was like I want to show you using more of the neutrally colors with it so that's what I did um, so I used I used Sarah Winifred Kiki basically I used all of this row all of all of the middle row except for Mary and then I used Hermione too so yeah I used uh, Sarah in my transition Winifred in my crease uh, Kiki on my outer corner and then I I did a, um, on the outer corner I did Samantha and on the inner corner I did Hermione. So, and then the, the, the inner corner highlight is just my highlighter from today. Because unfortunately the only true like inner corner highlight we have is Prue and Prue is more purple based so I didn't do that. So I'm, so I'm going to go ahead and insert my tutorial that I did today on this look. Originally I was going to tell you what I was doing but my dad. He was cleaning and he was like, I'll be quiet. No, he wasn't quiet. So yeah, just, I'll, I'll go ahead and insert that. 
Um, again, just know that I used I used uh, Sarah as my transition, Winifred in my crease, Kiki in my outer corner, and then I put Samantha on the outer half of the lid and Hermione on the inner half. So yeah, so I'll go ahead and, and insert that now. Day. so I hope that you liked that um, like I said I, I know I, there were a lot of videos that showed the pinks and the purples and the greens and the blues so I was like eh, you know I'm gonna do something a little bit different I do but I have used every single color in this palette so I do feel like I can give a pretty good review um, so first of all like I said packaging I, I I'm just gonna I'm just going to keep this on my shelf and be like, this is my book of witchcraft. What do you want from me? Oh, well, technically my witchcraft is makeup, but you know, <laughs> I, I, I love this book. I love the, the book aesthetic of this palette. I mean, I really love it. I love the, the symbolism on it. I love the clasp on it. I love the back on it. I, everything about this. I love the spine. The aesthetics of this palette cannot be beat. It really can't. Um, it does have a very nice big mirror on it. Um, let me see if I can do this without blinding you. Probably not. Yes, yeah, see, it has a nice big mirror on it. It bends back too, which is nice. Um, so the... It's pretty dirty because I've been using it. Um, so I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to insert swatches at the end here. But I'm going to give you kind of my overview on this. So the purples at the top are much more pink than they are purple with the exception of Sabrina. So I was very, very, not, not sad, not really upset, just kind of like mm, about the fact that they were more pink than purple. I really, 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 really wanted Piper to look more purple than it did. It looked more pink. Phoebe... Phoebe looks more pink on the eyes and even in the swatch. Paige is definitely leans more pink. Uh, Prue is just kind of a iridescent. It is purpley, but it's more of iridescent. Uh, Sabrina is really the only true purple that you have in here. Um, and it is a very, very bold purple. It is very bright. It is very, very pigmented. Um, but the other purples in here, the other th four purples, the Hello Well Sister purples, they lean more pink than purple, which, okay. Um, if I wasn't, exp honestly, if I didn't, if I knew that, I might not have got this because I am much more into purple than I am pink. But <clears throat> I can work with it. I can live with it. I still really like the, the, the look I came up with. And with Sabrina on there, you can make it look, lean more toward the purples. Um, even the Sarah color is a little, like, kind of like a, it's kind of hard to explain. It's kind of like a neutrally color, but it has like a purple gray shift to it, or not shift, but purple gray undertone to it. Um, I think this is more purple, honestly, than, than Piper, Phoebe, or Paige. So, um, the Winifred and Kiki are really, really nice browns, as you saw in the tutorial. Um, and then these colors down here are very, very pigmented. Everything is really, really, really pigmented. The thing I found about this palette, other than, like I said, these are being more pinky than purple. The other downside about this palette, I guess, is that 
it, it, you have to work with it. You have to work with it. It's not an easy, it's not, it's not like the Anastasia palettes and it's not like the Urban Decay palettes where you can just grab it, put it on your eye, blends out like a dream, and then go. You have to really, really, really work with these colors. Um, because they're so deep, because they're so pigmented, you have to take a little tiny bit on your brush, just like dip it in just a little bit, and then work it in to your eye. It's going to be patchy. You're going to have to work with it. it. It'll blend out, and it'll be beautiful in the end, but it goes on patchy. You have to take your time with it. This is not a this is not a palette that you want to grab if you're if you are in a hurry. You want to be able to have take be able to take your time with this. Um, Winifred and Sarah are really the only kind of transition colors that you have. And Winifred is a little more deep than I usually like for a transition color. Sarah is really the one that I use pretty much for my purple or my neutral ones, like I did today. Um, I use Bonnie. I think I use. I think I either use Bonnie or Marnie. I'm not really. I don't. No, I use Marnie as my transition color for my green and blues. Um, you you might have to, and that's the other thing is you definitely have to pull in colors from other palettes if you want a full complete look. You can. Sarah thinks a great transition color on me, um, but it's the only one. Winifred, if you go really 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 light handed, can make a good transition color. There's no black, there's no matte white, there's no like creamy color to set down like uh, primer. Um, so you might have to grab another palette to make a complete look. I can make a complete look out of this, um, other than I have to what, grab a creamy white color to set my base because that's just what I like. But the other thing about this palette, and I sound so negative and I'm so sorry, I'm just trying to get the, the information out there first. The other thing about this palette is that they stain. The pinks and the purples and the blues and the greens, they stain. <laughs> like, they stain my brushes, they stain my eyes. Um, it came out, I was able to clean them out. Um, my eyes definitely were stained for about 12 hours after I took off my makeup. Um, but, and they did stain my white brushes, but I was able, after using the, um, my, my, Equate brush cleaner a couple times and then actually deep cleaning at, uh, after I used it the first time I was able to get the pigment out but it does stain and the reason it's well, and and because of the staining it does say sorry on this one it does say that um, not intended for eyes direct eye use is Sabrina Paige Fiona Piper Phoebe and Samantha and that is because, again, so what was it? Uh, Phoebe, so Sabrina Page, Piper. So Sabrina Page and Piper, these three colors here, they are pressed pigments. And because they have a red base to them, that is why they're not considered safe for the eyes. Um, and then... Phoebe and Samantha, so Phoebe and Samantha, obviously they have a little more glitter, but they also have that red base. So that's why they're not considered quote unquote eye safe. They will stain the eyes. So just keep that in mind. Um, I apologize, the green ones didn't stain my eyes. I don't know why I said that. The, the, the pinky purple ones definitely stained my eyes. But um, yes, yeah, so those are kind of the things that you kind of got to be aware of. I don't think this is a bad palette. Like I said, it does take a little bit of work with, but once you actually get it, into the crease or like blended out into the crease it's beautiful the shimmers are beautiful today i used samantha dry and then i used it with a wet brush the um i'm gonna insert a picture um where i used it another time and i put it over a glitter base and oh my gosh i i was in love it looks so much better over a glitter base um don't get me wrong it looks really pretty on a wet brush, um, but, and pat it on with the fingers, but over the glitter base, it like really shined. So just keep that in mind. Um, but the glitters, they really, they're really, really pretty. They really work very well. Um, I, I say if you like these colors, and I wanted to do this more kind of neutrally look today to show you, you don't have to do a bright green and blue or a purple purple look with this palette at all. They have really pretty, I think these 
I think this middle row is really vastly overlooked in the, uh, some of the reviews that I have seen. So I really think that this could be a good addition to anybody's collection. Um, but yeah, like I said, this isn't a this isn't a grab and go kind of palette. This is it when you have the time to take. It, it, this is when you have time in the morning to take your time to do your makeup. Um, but yes, the colors are beautiful. I'm obsessed with the names. Um, I, like I said, I, I've used every single color. I don't dislike any of them. I, I'm, I'm really, really, really pleasantly surprised and happy with the quality and the looks that I got out of this. I've never, never bought anything from Lunar Beauty, so yeah. Um, you can get it on Looney, Looney, <laughs> you can get it on LunarBeauty.com or you can also get it on Sephora, which I wish I would have waited and got enough Sephora, then I wouldn't have to pay $7.50 in shipping, but I was impatient, so yeah. Um, so yeah, so let me go ahead and insert swatches and then we'll go ahead, so let me go ahead and insert swatches for you. So those were my thoughts and my looks that I've done with the new Moon Spell palette by Lunar Beauty. I love it. I really love it. I'm very excited about this palette. This palette is everything. The the witchy feels, the names. Oh my gosh. I just I, I love, you know, I'm putting I'm putting Phoebe and Paige and Piper and Pray. I love the Hallowell sisters. Them. Anyway, yes, so I'm really, really a big fan of this. I think that you can do a lot of creative looks with this. I think that you can wear an everyday look with this. I recommend it. I say, I, I say give it a shot. Thank you as always for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that bell notification to be notified every time I upload. And of course, subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.